So here am I at Ranscombe again. I've been coming for about four years. And there's this wonderful farm, Ranscombe farm, run by Plant Life. It's a really good example of a species rich calcareous grassland. Toad flax. Good for toad flax brocade moth. And this meadow's always full of lots of wild carrot, but also you've got wild marjoram, wild basil, agrimony going to seed there, and uh, lots of bartsia, lots and lots of it. Red bartsia is hemiparasitic. It does uh, photosynthesize, it uses its leaves, but it takes a lot of minerals from the grasses that it sort of uh, clutches onto. And because of that, it keeps the grasses at bay and makes a good calcareous species rich grassland function, a bit like yellow rattle. And Einbright as well is another one. Now obviously they've done some kind of scrape here to make some kind of butterfly bank and uh, obviously it takes time for the seeds to get in from the surrounding grassland and Budley has got in because it doesn't like competition and that's what happens on brownfield sites. I hate the stuff. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Now I don't collect seeds from Ranscombe. I leave Ranscombe to itself because when I first came to Ranscombe I discovered just outside the boundaries of the farm, a place I call the place between places, forgotten. And that's where I go and collect seeds. So let's head to the place between places. So after a pleasant stroll in Ranscombe, I'm now gonna cross the road to the place between places. And this is basically a cycleway. But either side of it is not topsoil, it's probably chalk rubble from when they modernised the M2. So it's really low in nutrient and it's kind of like a, you know, open mosaic habitat, but very chalk grassland based. So the place between places is kind of like just forgotten about, unloved, probably not maintained at all. And I'm just sitting here and I can smell the wild herbs and I can see loads of pollinators flying around. Okay, there's a lot of teasels, but hey, the goldfinches like the teasel. And I just love these sort of places between places which nobody really cares about. This is one of the few places that I actually get to visit, which has carline thistle. More carline thistle beside figwort. And I should be collecting some of it. They close up late afternoon. You can see the yellow flowers there. Blue flea bane. Uh, so this is blue flea bane, gone to seed, and there it's in flower. Now, I never knew about that plant until I came here. But I don't know of anywhere in London. I've never seen it in South East London anyway. Most of the other plants I find somewhere in South East London. Quite a few of them on Black Eve, on the Black Eve B roads. In many ways, it's kind of like a good extensive green roof should be. And if I collect seeds from here, throw these onto uh, some biodiverse green roofs. Hopefully we we'll get a little bit of downs in London in terms of wildflowers. But there's lots of places like this in cities, in towns, where they're just amenity grassland and we could just dig them all up, shove in some low nutrient aggregates and turn them into marjoram meadows. That's how to deliver biodiversity in our towns and cities. Dig up the amenity grassland and get the wildflowers in.